Hi, thank you so much for watching this replay. My name is Gwanya Clancy and I work as a cancer psychotherapist. How weak is very often a term I use when clients come into the therapy room. And that question is asked in general, how are you getting on? How are you? And those three words are very important, aren't they? You know, we need to give people time to listen to them, to be heard, because that's really all we're after, isn't it? Time to slow down, colour our thoughts, and to be listened to about whatever is going on in our lives. And therapists don't really have a magic wand that makes everything better. Therapy doesn't work that way. Therapy is about coming in. It's like a, a, what you call it, a rubber band, a ball of rubber bands, and there's blues and there's greens and there's yellows, all different colours. And what we basically do is we maybe look at a memory or something you find distressing in your, in your life, something that's upset you. We look at why that has upset you. What thoughts, what it's telling you about you? Because very often what we do is we're quite harsh on ourselves. I just remember many years ago there used to be a saying, it's okay if you if you talk to yourself, it's when you talk back. But actually, we do that all the time. We have an internal critic. And that can sometimes be um, an old teacher that made us feel bad about ourselves. It could be something from a school friend or some, somebody that we knew at school or something from home. And so it's about kind of taking that out, having a look and listening to what, is it really your voice? Sometimes a lot of the time it is our, our voice. And we say, well, I should have done this. Well, if I had done that, then this wouldn't have happened. Well, you could have not done it and the same thing would have happened because that's the thing about life. We just never know what's going to happen. The, the last few days, the weather here has not been the best. It's been raining, it's been sunshine, it's been cold, it's been hot. And life's like that, you know. And our bodies are designed to switch on if we're stressed and switch off if we're not. And there is no gene, that, that there is no state of our bodies that go, we were happy now. It doesn't work. We are programmed to constantly, I suppose, risk assess what danger we're in. And that's what this brain here of ours does. That's what it does. It's constantly risk assessing. Are we safe? Do we feel we belong? We're doing that all the time. That That's what our senses are about, to, to see, to hear. How many times have you kind of put your foot out in the, on the road and, and then kind of stood back and the cars went past? Because your hearing has heard that and you're and so you know that 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 it hasn't been safe. Are you using their eyes to look to see is it safe for me to cross the road? So we're always risk assessing. But there's a million other things that go on. So mobile phones, these are kind of telling us we Google things that we're not sure. I'll just Google it and see what's going on. You know, because are we afraid of our own opinions? Sometimes we are. And so what therapy is really about is kind of getting to accept the parts of ourselves that we like and the parts that we don't like. Because everyone, every single one of us has that. And figuring out and the figuring out who you are and what you're about, I think that's a lifelong process. And we're always evolving. That's why, because we always want, when I have this, I will be happy. And we get it. And then we move on to the next thing. Because we're always evolving. That, that's, that's what we do. But it's learning to evolve 
and accept who we are, warts and all. And in essence, that's really what therapy does. So if I can help you in any way, give me a shout. I have plenty of resources. But in the therapy room, it's really about me listening to you. It's not I might make suggestions of things, books you can read, resources, exercises you can do, but that's really what it's about. Find yourselves.